This is the latest from CBS 2 News. Hello, I'm Amy Johnson. Here's what's happening. Police are looking for suspects in several shootings in South L.A. last night. Three people were shot on 89th and Vermont, four on 89th and Broadway, and one of those people died at the scene. Officers are trying to figure out if these shootings are connected. And take a look at this. Some folks on a whale watching tour got a killer view in San Pedro. Killer whales came out to play yesterday afternoon. One of them was flapping its tail and putting on quite a show. And the whale watchers were eating it up, recording it on their cell phones. Harbor Breeze Cruises was excited too. The tour company shared the awesome encounter on its Facebook page. And now here's Craig Herrera with a look at weather. All right, we'll enjoy a lot of sunshine away from the coast, close to the coast. We're going to have those hazy conditions. Take a little while to burn through the cloud cover, but overall, the big story is high pressure. And of course, when we talk high pressure, we talk weak offshore flow, sunshine, and it looks like temperatures mostly above average, especially away from the coast, about 5 to 10 degrees above average. Uh, overnight, we get the marine layer still blows on through, feeling a little muggy during the early morning hours and temperatures right along the coast remaining in the mid to upper 60s. We cool off a little bit as we go through Sunday and Monday and next week as well. Downtown LA through the OC metro areas, we're sitting close to 80 degrees through the weekend, mid 80s, mid to upper 80s that is for the valleys and plenty of 90s. So these are going to be low to mid 90s for the Inland Empire and the high desert and we'll continue to see the nice sea breeze pick up on Wednesday, Thursday. The mountain communities into the mid 70s. Very nice weekend ahead. Amy. All right, thank you, Craig. The Venice Pride Festival continues today at Muscle Beach, but last night was the second annual Big Block Party. Today, the festival starts with a beach cleanup, and this year, two NFL teams, the LA Rams and the Chargers, wanted to be a part of it. This is the first time a gay pride event was sponsored by NFL teams. There is a health scare involving tuna shipped to several Southland restaurants from Hawaii. It's tainted with hepatitis A, which is a dangerous and contagious disease. CBS 2's Jennifer Kastner has a list of restaurants that may have served it. Tainted tuna could be affecting SoCal seafood lovers, but it may take up to a month and a half to show any signs of sickness. Frozen yellowfin steaks and cubes, possibly contaminated with hepatitis A, may have made their way to local restaurants. Spicy. Redondo Beach's Just Pokey is one of the eateries in question. A co-owner says they can't be sure the bad fish wasn't served, but they did pull the product weeks ago when they heard about a voluntary recall from their Hawaiian supplier. They haven't been contacted by any ill customers and are now notifying anyone who's recently eaten there. According to the FDA, the list of other SoCal spots affected include Alma and Sewer Court in Alhambra, Galaxy Foods Incorporated in Rancho Palos Verdes, Ola Mexican Kitchen in Huntington Beach, Hotel Irvine in Irvine, Arroyo Tribuco in Mission Viejo, and Doubletree Hotel in Claremont. On May 18th, the FDA says Hawaii's Hilo Fish Company voluntarily recalled potentially affected tuna, but that tuna may have already made its way to the mainland. The FDA and CDC issued their own advisory. Why they waited until two weeks later is unclear, since their warning notes that people have up to two weeks to take medication that may prevent infection. Hepatitis A is a contagious liver disease. Symptoms include jaundice and stomach pain, but it could take up to 50 days to feel sick. In and that's the latest from CBS 2 News. Remember, we're always on CBSLA.com and be sure to watch us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6 and 11 p.m.